It's been a blustery few days and it's looking to be the same for a few days more. According to the Royal Gibraltar Police, there were rock falls on the eastern side, leading to a temporary road closure from Eastern Beach to Catalan Bay. The RGP advised those on motorbikes in particular to stay clear of Europa Advance Road due to the wind. Several airline flights were also diverted due to bad weather over the weekend and into today. As we stand now, um, the, um, the road remains closed. Uh, it will be for another further period of 24 hours. Uh, there have been, I'm told, a few smaller rockfalls and hence why technical services have decided to keep the uh, road closed uh, and all the signs in place. The road is closed uh, on either side. Uh, what they have uh, in place is a bus um, shuttle which will take you from Monteverde site to Europa Point and vice versa. So, but uh, the road closure for the vehicle and pedestrians is totally closed and we therefore ask the public not to uh, open the gate, uh, the barriers with themselves and uh, go against the, the traffic signs. These dramatic photos show the power of those gale force winds with waves crashing into and over Europa Point. Today is probably the worst that we'll see. Things should slowly start to get better over the next couple of days. But the whole reason of, that we've got this stormy weather is that we saw an area of low pressure move down from the northwest uh, to the west of the UK. It came down across Iberia through the weekend and sort of stalled over north Morocco. And it's been sitting there and behind that high pressure then developed behind it across Iberia. And what it did was produce this very strong squeeze that we've seen in the gradient between the Albran across to uh, through the Strait and across into the Gulf of Cadiz and it's that that's produced this um, very tight gradient, very strong winds, we've seen strong to gale force winds right across that area um, and it's not just been that, it's not just been the mean wind, it's been the gustiness to the wind as well. Um, there's cold air that's been wrapped around this low pressure. The seas are still relatively warm as well and um, that has produced very, a lot of instability over the area so that we're getting huge gusts. Um, we've seen it on the east side. Today, for instance, we've had gusts up to 52 knots and that's 96 kilometres an hour. Yesterday, they were up to 91 kilometres an hour. So as I said, it's been sort of at its strongest through today and we should see things start to get a little bit better over the next couple of days. Meteorjib says it's not unusual to see winds this strong, maybe a couple of times or so over the winter. On this date last year, for example, we had similar winds of up to 94 kilometres per hour. More recently, the strongest Levanta occurred on October 2008 during those storms that caused the Fedra incident, with maximum wind gusts then reaching 109 kilometres per hour. However, this bad spell is expected to pass us by come Thursday, and sunny skies will return.